What is a bond? The website of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka defines a treasury bond as a medium and long-term debt instrument issued by the government under the Registered Stock and Securities Ordinance No. 7 of 1937 when it raises domestic public debt for budgetary purposes. In a nutshell, governments use treasury bonds to raise funds paying interest to the holders of the bonds when they mature. In its latest bond issue, the central bank had reportedly intimated to the authorized primary dealers that it was seeking to raise 1 billion rupees. However, issuing a statement on the 6th of March, the Ministry of Policy Planning and Economic Affairs noted that on the 26th of February, at a meeting between the Minister of Higher Education, Highways and Investment Promotion, the Treasury Secretary and the Governor of the Central Bank, the Minister, Kabir Hashim, had requested urgent funding of about 15 billion rupees to recommence several highways and road projects. Clearly, this was communicated to the Governor of the Central Bank by the Minister of Finance. At no point did the governor of the central bank take any steps to let the primary dealers know that the requirement had changed from 1 billion to 10 or 15 billion. On the 27th of February, when the results were announced, the central bank decided to take up 10 times more than what they had indicated on the 24th of February. That is why the conscience of this country has been aroused because there has been a significant lack of transparency on the part of the central bank. The website of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka lists 16 authorized primary dealers as of October 2013. And they are Bank of Ceylon, Capital Alliance, Entrust Securities, Commercial Bank, First Capital Treasuries, Equity Securities, NatWealth Securities, NSB Fund Management, People's Bank, Sampat Bank, Ceylon Bank, Wealth Trust Securities, Pan-Asia Banking Corporation, Perpetual Treasuries, HSBC and Union Bank. When the uh, <coughs> initial announcement of a 30-year bond for 1 billion was on offer, uh, as per normal practice, the central bank uh, gives an indication, an indicative rate, and that rate was up in the region of 9.5%. Somewhat shockingly, on the 27th, public are made aware that the rate for some of this money, the, the increase 10 billion, uh, was uh, taken up at 12.5%. This aura of suspicion has, has arisen, and which is why uh, there are charges now being made, or accusations being made, that there may be some suspicion in this transaction, indicating that perhaps uh, there is a possibility that some dealers were privy to information that others were not. News First learns that the issuing of Treasury bonds is regulated by a tender board at the Public Debt Department of the Central Bank, which comes under the purview of a senior deputy governor. News First contacted a senior deputy governor at the Central Bank, P. Samarasiri, on this matter. He said that he cannot comment on the issue at the present moment and requested us to direct any questions to the governor. However, our attempts to contact the governor proved futile. It is wholly unacceptable for the appointing authority, i.e. Uh, the Prime Minister's office uh, and the Minister of Economic Development, which is one and the same, uh, to carry out an inquiry into uh, the actions of the governor of the central bank. Instead, it would be far more transparent and it would be beyond uh, any conflict of interest if uh, the inquiry was conducted by a retired central banker. It's essential for this inquiry because this government came in on a uh, roller coaster bandwagon of good governance. It is incumbent upon this government to carry out an impartial inquiry into this entire transaction. It's worth bearing in mind that these bonds are for 30 years. The people of this country will be saddled with this debt for at least the next 30 years. Yeah, it is only an allegation that there has been inside information. We have not established the fact that there in fact was inside information. This is an allegation at this moment. It is possible for anyone to bid any amount at any price as they see fit. 
at a bond auction. We will do an investigation in the most appropriate way. The Prime Minister and I have discussed this with the Governor Central Bank and in due course, we will ensure that an independent investigation is done. See, we have to look at all angles. Now, there are some people who seem to have been engaged in malpractices during the previous regime, continuing to do so now. And this is not only restricted to the bond market, but also equity market. We also tried contacting Cabinet spokesperson Dr. Rajita Senaratna to inquire into what steps, if any, the government would take on this controversy. Our attempts were not successful.